What's up everybody, Silver here with another Halo Master Chief Collection Achievement Guide. This time we're doing Shut Down Everything, which is in Halo 4, beat the par time on the level shutdown. So, run up here, grab a DMR off the side of the Pelican, you already have a saw as your secondary. And grab some more ammo for your DMR on the other side, and then hop into the cockpit and we are ready to fly this Pelican out of here. This is actually the only instance where you could fly a Pelican in the Halo series so far. Maybe you could in Halo 5. Also, I know you could fly in other Halo games, but you weren't supposed to be able to do it. It's kind of, you gotta do some glitches and all that nonsense. Or some mods. But we are just gonna fly straight to the final tower. Normally you have to go through the first tower, and then the second tower, and then the final tower activates, and it kind of deploys its landing pad for you, so you can land on it and get in there nice and easily. But you could actually sneak your way in there before the landing pad actually deploys. And you can see right when we came to this area, we were already aimed directly at the final tower. So you can see I just flew straight out of that tunnel or whatever we started in. And we come to this tower, and you could actually you could see there's kind of a crack in the side. You could actually just go right in here. You could use the A and X buttons, on my control scheme at least, to lower or raise yourself. So just go straight up or straight down. It's probably different if you have a different control scheme set up, but just, you know, check out your buttons and all that nonsense. And you just fly through here. You can see this is kind of a doorway that would have opened up and folded out into a nice little landing pad. But we just kind of went through there without it doing that for us. And we totally skipped like two-thirds of the level or more. I don't know. Probably more. But anyway, we're just going to wait for this door to open up. It will open right up after a few seconds. Then hop into this lift right here. I skipped ahead. I cut out the lift part because it's just me going up. A lift for like 10 seconds. But here actually there's a skip to get launched to the other side of the room very quickly within like 5 seconds or so. But that's tough and takes a lot of practice and it's really not worth it for the purposes of this achievement so I do not show it here. The part time for this level is 20 minutes which is way more than we need. As you can see the length of this video is not that long. So we're going to finish in about 5 or 6 minutes. I cut out a couple parts here but you can see my timer down below on the right as usual. I like to go over here and grab a fuel rod for the hunters we have to fight. They're pretty much the only people we have to actually kill in this whole level, or else the lift will not activate at the end. So we're just going to fight our way across. You can see I'm on easy. I'm not taking that much damage due to the fact that I'm on easy. You could do this on any difficulty. So I do recommend easy since it's, well, the easiest. So just roll on through here. Take your time. This is the only room we're really going to fight our way through. So we have a solid 15 or so minutes to do that because it takes a couple minutes to get to this room. And then after this room, it takes a couple minutes to run to the end of the level real quick. So we got a lot of time to go through this whole room. So don't feel like you have to rush through this room, even though you could if you want to. Watch out for that fuel rod elite that I just passed. That's the really only big threat in this room, other than the hunters, of course. But it's kind of at a choke point there across that bridge, so it's kind of annoying to get past them sometimes. You may be caught unawares and he'll just fuel rod you right in the face. But as you can see, once we get to this part, it's pretty straightforward. Just fuel rod the hunters four or five times on easy. That will kill them. And then the lift in the middle of the room will activate, or the middle of that platform. And you go right on up. I cut that part out again because I'm just going up a lift for like 10-15 seconds. Kill that elite. I like to kill this grunt as well because he's in a turret over there. And that could chip away at my banshee health, which is not cool. Hop in this banshee. And we're just going to sprint, or not sprint, boost because we're in a vehicle. You cannot sprint while you're in a vehicle. But you could certainly boost. So just boost onto the end here. And just land right about here. Hop out. And we're going to drop down onto the lower platform so we could go through the doorway. And you can see the nav point on my screen right now. That is the last place we have to go to. We are going to put Cortana into another console. This door will open up in a second. We are totally safe at this point. And just hop over here and insert her into the console. Over here on the left is the fastest way to get out of this glass once it starts opening. The thing I'm hitting right now. You don't want to try to go straight down the middle. You want to kind of go off to the side like this. And I'll show you that in a second. I'm going to skip ahead because it's a lot of dialogue. Take her out of the pedestal thingy. And then go over to the left like I was doing. And I skipped ahead again, waiting for the glass to come up. And you can kind of get out of here a little bit early and run straight over the edge. Don't jump because that will waste like a second or two. But again, no big deal since we have cleared this time easily. But that's it, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Click like and subscribe. Leave a comment. Follow me on Twitter at Halo Completion and on Twitch at SilverScorpion4. And I will see you guys later for more Halo achievements.